Okay. It's 9.05am on the August, on the 5th of August 2015. I'll put another quick article. This is a very, very, very serious article. America was once the land of free and living. It was once for all religions to go there and be able to worship using their own doctrinal views and values about to keep it. But no more. No more. If Hillary Clinton gets back in in the 2016 US election to replace Robert, to replace Barack Obama, the churches are going to lose are going to lose their freedom of religion and freedom of belief out of the US Constitution. And that will only be the USA. That'll go worldwide under the whole of Agenda 21. So that will affect us all, all over the world. Especially countries like Australia, UK, EU countries, and supporters of the American values. I ask and beg all Americans, keep this lady out of Parliament. She is a, a disaster for you. With the policies like this, it's going to take away your freedom of religion and beliefs. It'll come under Agenda 21 and be very, very, very oppressive. Churches have rights to their own beliefs and their own belief systems. They've had that for hundreds of years, if not thousands of years. Unless you come under a communist or Stalinist or a dictatorial totalitarian situation you have your own personal freedom and rights it is not state control rights it is personal control rights the gay lobby the homosexual marriage advocates and people have the rights to to do what they wish but they have the right to shut the big big bloody big traps and leave the churches to believe what we want to believe it is a totalitarian situation coming that needs to be stamped out. And the only way you'll stamp it out is by people power. Voting in the correct person. The US president, the United States president, is one of the most powerful people in the whole world and has influence over a lot of different countries. This could be a disaster. If Hillary Clinton got in and done what the articles were saying, I'm reading online from new, from reputable news articles, to take away tax exemption from churches and to close down and jail people who won't won't obey the same-sex marriage laws. That's not equal rights. It's nothing to do with equal rights. That's totalitarian regime, and it will become like under the Emperor Nero. You've got to look back in history, in the ancient classical history. The Emperor Nero came in as a man who played music and who was a lot, who was good-hearted and and light. He turned bad. Well, this could happen the same thing today, all over again. So I ask and beg all churches through the USA and also around the world: do not, do not. Follow these equality laws or quality legislation to do with same-sex marriage or anything of the such, as it is not equal rights. It is blatant totalitarianism, blatant homosexual, homosexual Nazism. It's state-controlled. You've lost your control of your own personal self. There's no personal control. Everyone has, does not have their own rights. Your rights come under the state. And the state will be very similar to what the Roman Emperor Nero was in 54 AD and died in 68 AD when he went mad and killed himself in the fire of London, fire of Rome. We're going into a similar situation today different time, 2000, 2,000 years in, in difference, different period, yes, but just look up at 
Look up the, imp the ancient ancient Rome, the way they run the democratic situation, the way they run their uh, they run their Senate. Look at the beginning, look at the end, look at how it went, because that's what we're going into at the moment. This is all, this video is going for a little bit longer, it's going to take some time to upload. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I would like this to go viral on the internet. All over the world. I don't mind my face being shown, because I've been taken to court enough, to, en enough times to know I'm becoming known about this. Thank you very much and bye for now. Yours, John Sumer.